Hi, welcome back to the Clean Classics workshop. This time we've been really busy. The panels for the 2A, they have gone down to the guys to get painted. And we've also then fitted the batteries and the motor and the transmission, the EV system stuff into that chassis. Alfie's been working really hard on getting the batteries all built up and wired up for the Series 1. And then we've been doing a load of other background work on, on some of our other projects that we're going to be starting soon. So yeah, it's been really exciting. The Series 2A, I think last time we just had the bulkhead fitted, but now obviously that's gone. All of the panels that we had laid out here, the first half of the stuff has gone down to the guys painting it. That's now ready. So that was the bulkhead, the rear tub, and, and a load of the smaller parts so they can, the guys painting it can fit in what they can fit in effectively. So what we're gonna do first thing in the morning, we're gonna take the next batch of parts, which is the front wings and the doors and, and things like that. We're going to take them down and swap them over with the, the guys at the paint shop. We're going to pick up the bulkhead and the rear tub, and then we can start doing the actual final build on this project, which is super exciting. Whilst the parts have all been are all ready for paint and down at the painters, we've got on with fitting the batteries, the motor, the transfer box, and the charger unit all into the chassis. It's really nice. It's the first time we've had it in this kind of state to be able to build it up it's really nice not to have any body panels to worry about it just all goes in so much easier so we've got all that done that's given us the opportunity to do a bit of cable routing whilst there's, there's nothing in our way so we made a nice start on on getting the ev system fitted for this car once we get the bulkhead and the tub back they'll be basically going straight on the bulkhead's a real key part because then we can start adding the wiring looms back in offering everything up and likewise, the tub going in is gonna, is gonna give us the, the structure at the rear to start fitting everything together. It's basically gonna be those two items going in next. Everything else in terms of the seat box and the panels, they're all gonna be at the painters for this second, second round of, of uh, painting the panels. But whilst that's there, once the bulkhead's in, we can offer up the top box, get all of our high voltage cables and other wiring looms fitted. And, and yeah, just get all of the sort of little admin jobs done whilst, whilst, the, uh, whilst the, it's, all, it's all really nice and accessible. So, uh, but really looking forward to see some nice new painted parts on this car. So while there's no body or panels or anything on, it's actually a really good opportunity to, to show you guys the EV system as it fits. So at the front here, this is effectively what's, what you see under the engine bay. Our top box fits on top of this front battery box, but we've got... The, I think it's a quarter of our batteries sit in the front, the front of the uh, engine bay here. And that's, that, that basically picks up and, and is held by what we call our powertrain subframe. And, and it's effectively a couple of rails with, with a front and rear cross member. And that's what our motor and transfer box both bolt into. That's doing a couple of things. It means we can use some, some points on the chassis that are already there to bolt our frame straight into and then have a load of flexibility about where we can bolt the rest of our system to and put, put points, mount points where they need to be without cutting or drilling the chassis. What it's also doing is, is it's, it's holding both the motor and the transfer box in such a way that when the motor spins, it transmits torque to the, to the transfer box. Effectively, the, the motor spinning is gonna try and spin the whole transfer box. If you don't have a way of that, if you don't have that mounted correctly, it's the, the, the torque is actually going to try and wriggle it free. So our rail system just makes sure we've got a really good stable mounting for the two to, to pass torque between each other. And moving back to the middle of the car, the seat box, so, so you can see where the steering wheel is here. The seat, the driver's seat is effectively, there's, a, there's a, what, what we call the seat box that is a, is a structure that wraps over the top of, of these boxes. Underneath that is where we've got our, the majority of our battery boxes fitted. This is where the fuel tanks are normally located. So we've used that, 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 the standard area for that. So I think we've got 30 kilowatt hours between these packs and then, then the final 10 kilowatt hours in that box at the front. And then moving right to the back of the car, this is what's known as the PDM is from the Nissan Leaf. It's got the AC charger the DC to DC, which is effectively your alternator, it's creating the 12 volts to, to make the rest of the, 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 the vehicle work as, as it normally would. It, it's also got the capability for rapid charging, though we haven't, we haven't got that tested or available, or it's not ready yet. And yeah, it effectively manages the high voltage system of the car and how it integrates with, with all the other systems. The Series 1, there's been a lot of progress on this project as well. Last time we 
got the, the frame in for the system ready to start taking all of the, the, the major components. We've now got the motor bolted in, it's got its, its motor back plate and, and output flange all fitted. So that's in, ready to go. Alfie's been really busy sorting out all of the, the battery boxes. We've got the front battery box in, ready to go as well and Alfie's just working on putting together the under seat boxes. I think we've got one of them built up and, and he's just working on getting the second one all built up. It's, it's, he's been working really hard on getting the BMS looms all together. There's a, there's a lot of time that goes into to getting all of that wired up and then obviously the high voltage um, connections and, and cables as well. So yeah, Alfie can talk through what he's been up to. So the last week we've been building up these battery boxes for the Series 1. This is one that's pretty much ready to go. All it needs is the lid on sealing down and then that one's good to go in the car. This one here we've been working on today and all wired up here with the lids on. I've made up all the high voltage cables and the bus bars. All of the looms for the BMS in the car are all ready to go. And that's about to go in the box. The lid's there, it's gonna get sealed up and it's gonna go straight into the Series 1. So this is the other battery box for the Series 1. The other two we've just shown you. Yesterday, I put this in the car, um, just dropped it down onto our little subframe here. We've already got the motor and inverter in the car. So this is all ready to have the top box will go on top of this and then all the electronics will just be wired on top of that in situ. So this is the Smith's heater that we've shown you the sort of development over the last few weeks. We've just put it in the series one. Now it's all powder coated and welded up with the original front panel on here about where it would sit in the original car. There's a little switch on the side there for the heater element. And then this switch here is just for the blower motor as it was when this car got delivered to us. You just got the flaps there to allow the heat or the air into the cabin. And when they're closed, it just goes up through these pipes to the windscreen as the demisters. So the series two, 109, super excited to be getting on with this one. Obviously last time we saw it, it was on the trailer, but we pulled it off the trailer and we started stripping parts off. We're not really officially getting on with this project yet, but there was a, there was a window of time when we, we, we had some time. And what's quite nice is to get all the parts off and we can then go through assessing panel by panel, all, all the parts. It's a nice bit of background work as, as sort of other projects start and stop. There's a nice bit of background work. We can basically make a job list for, for what we're really going to get into once we start this project. Get a few things ordered ahead of time. So yeah, we've effectively just stripping it down, figuring out what we need to do. It also condenses it a bit. So in terms of storage, it makes life easier. We can get, get a few of the panels on the shelves. Definitely not keeping this chassis. It's <laughs> returned to earth in a, in a fairly considerable way. So that will be getting rid of the, the bulkheads, you know, not in a great way. So it's gonna to be tubs, some panels in the tub, and then we can tuck that away in the side of the workshop and, and pick it all back up once, once this project starts properly. So we've also made a start on the Range Rover. Richards have been patiently waiting for us to, to give some feedback on, on the, uh, the chassis that we got at the end of last year. The way things have panned out, we missed the window of opportunity to do the, do the chassis swap, but we've now finally got a bit of time to take a look at it. We've, we've pulled the old chassis out. We've removed all the old axles and sort of made a start. Now the panels are ready, we're pausing it again, but it's another bit of background work we can get on with in between, in between the other projects going on. Naturally, what we found is we've pulled the chassis out and there's loads more rot underneath than, uh, than, we've, than we'd seen, but that's always to be expected with these things. So it's a, it's a way up as to whether we get on with all of that right now whilst we can, whilst we get to it and wait on the chassis swap or, or whether we confirm some stuff a bit sooner for Richards, which I'm sure they'd like us to do. So yeah, it's again, a bit of background work. We'll figure out what we can do as, as and when on it, but it's nice to have made a start at least. So right now, um, we're not actually sure, but we're probably gonna put the 200 TDI back in it so, so I can get driving. But obviously the long goal is, this is gonna be converted to electric. We want some range from it, <laughs> obviously. Um, I think it's gonna pan out and see how the weights and stuff pan out, but really like to get 100 kilowatt hours or more in this and a, a minimum of 200 plus mile range in the long run. What we might do is, is um, stage the conversion. So we'll start with a smaller amount potentially and then, and then add it in and, and upgrade over time. But yeah, we're sort of, we, we, once we get into the planning, we'll know a bit more about, about what's gonna go in, but it's, it's, uh, it's getting closer, which is exciting. I, I, I really, I've been gagging to get on with this project for a long, long time now. So, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting. Thanks for watching. As always, please do like and subscribe if you've been enjoying our videos. Uh, it really helps us grow the channel and get, get more interesting stuff to you. 
drop us a comment if you've got anything you'd like to see anything any thoughts on what we're up to always great to see some feedback but otherwise yeah thank you very much <laughs>